Hey guys, Ness and Needles here, and today I'm coming at you with a, another unboxing video, and this one today is the Halo 4 Limited Edition Controller, which I bought off of game for £30. Uh, I got the last one, luckily. I might have told you in a different video that this video will be up. And finally, I've got the unboxing here. I'm sorry the light's not the best, but I will do a bit at the end so you can see the bits a lot better, and as you can see... I'm now getting into the controller. So we start off with um you get a really nice box of it. Um the controller just looks really nice overall. You get this bottom bit of the box, so I am getting it off finally. And here is the box at the back. Now um we're gonna go straight into the packaging. And uh, as you can see there, you get two Duracell batteries in the packet, but I am gonna get myself a uh playing charge kit so to go with this pack soon so then I can uh play without having to get them. You also get a um free Halo t shirt with a code on the back. And finally in the box you get a um, quick start manual or whatever you want to call it on just uh, the controller in like those different languages. But now we're moving on to the controller itself, the probably the the main reason why you buy this. And I must tell you guys it is really nice. Um I'll tell you a few more things at the end, but as you can see, you got the normal A, X, Y, and B buttons. You got a changeable D pad now, which is really nice. And um, basically, there's a, it's not the it's just a thing they've added, and it is just nice to have it chrome as well. It looks a lot better. Um, as well, um, the when you light it up, it like it has a white LED light going onto a blue screen, so it comes up blue. You have Halo 4 on the bottom, it's like transparent all the way around, but on the back, it's got this sort of transparent look. Now, I'm going on some brighter images. You have the really nice logo there, and um, different um, uh, joysticks, they're like domed more, they're really nice. And on the front, it's completely see through with a glossy feel, so it got a nice glossy feel on it. So um, now we're moving on to the pros and cons really of the controller. So the good things about the controller is that it it just really looks really nice, and um, it's just overall really light nice controller. Bad things I've experienced so far is sometimes your hands can get a bit sweaty because of the glossy feel, and maybe the A X B and Y button could be a bit nice like in a different color. But otherwise, it's a really nice controller. I suggest you guys get it. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. This has been Nesta Noodles.